He used to see it. Uh, there's nothing that he cannot be able to do. Whether you are thinking it in deeper into your heart, yes, Jesus Christ already can see it. He already knows your thoughts. There is already but people when they saw it, then they were hurt. Because used to mention their jobs that they are doing. Then he used to put it in light. But they were not happy. So that's what brought up the crucifixion of Jesus. And this moment of today, uh, most of us want to be Christians or want to be the children of Christ. We want to do good things. So, but when you're going to see your best friend, he's starting to do the wrong things. Then he's also going to take part. But that's not how God wants it to be. It will take you away from the path of Christ. You will depart yourself from the way of Christ. Because you are not able to separate yourself from your best friend. So if you tell your friend that what you are doing is not right, you are going to hate each other. So the children of Christ and the children of the devil they don't like each other. So if you as a best friend you correct your friend and tell him that my sister what you are doing is not right, it will lead to haters. So even those ones who were there, it's like that. Jesus Christ used to tell them that what you are doing is wrong. So that's when they started to tell him that you are not the good person. You are destroying the people who are misleading them. You are misleading them, teaching them things which are not right. Uh, because Jesus Christ knew what they were doing. Now he came straight and told them that what you are doing is not right. Then hatred started. They started to hate him. They started hating Jesus from you and me. Now you and me as a Christian, if, if you are doing the good thing, you must continue doing the good thing. But if they hate you because you are doing the bad thing, you must be able to change. You must be able to accept yourself. Uh, you must be able to ask yourself, examine yourself whether what they are telling me is correct or not. Or if it's true, then you must stop. What you are doing. But what they are if they are telling you is wrong, or what they are telling you is not right, and you are doing the rightful thing, continue doing the good things. So in the same book of Jesaya 55. Papa Reni Omba, Papa Nakumoneka, Zig Deni Papa, Anakara Popepi. Papa Reni Omba, Papa Anakumoneka. Muziki deni papa ana kara kopepi Mdinika Mdinika nga asige no zira deni Ano Mdona asige magaza ugendi Alitezu nure Kwa mba Kwa mba wengi 
age afu afu madeke am amfire ngenda age kapi alikata kata kudongo ni nako amen asi nosuru wesi Uh, this moment, as we know, all of us, Jesus died for our sins on the cross. And he took, he took all our worries and all our troubles. So that we are able to leave the bad things, the ones that we used to do, and able to follow his way. As the scripture is telling us, You must search for the Lord while you can, you can still hear. Search for light while you can be still among you. So even in Johannes book they are still telling us that we must still search for light while it's still there. So as God was put, Jesus was put here on earth, you must be able to be in light. So the worshiping of your, as you as a Christian to worship God is been minimized. It's been minimized. But when everything is going to come, then you will not have that opportunity again to praise your Lord, to mention the name of Christ. If you don't, if you don't use this time you are having God, so when you are going to be in darkness, you will not be able to have that opportunity to mention the name of Christ. Jesus has already spoken. The journey that he went through is the same way that we are going to go. All the trouble, the temptations he faced, you are going to do, you are going to face it as well. But you, you must be able to fight to your last. Uh, don't think or don't have that feeling that it's only you who's in this trouble. Even your fellow, your fellow members here on earth are facing the same things. Uh, but the Almighty God is telling us that let us pray with power. Uh, let us search the Almighty God while we can see. Let's search him while we can still see. Moments are going. Days are passing. Uh, if we don't stand now to able to stand still in Christianity, So those houses were built on stone and those ones were built on sand. All of them, they are, going, they are going to collapse with the flood. But those ones have been built on the stone which are still, it will stand still. So if we ask the Almighty God, you are able to hear us. You must be able to ask yourself in this world. A lot of things are happening. But Jesus Christ already said that if you are not going to follow my commandments, Leviticus said 26. In the book of Leviticus, verse 7. 26, verse 7. Uh, God is say, oh, God is telling us that if you are not going to follow my command, I will send different type of signals that you are not able to get a cure for the whole or worldwide. Look now today, where are we? A lot of things are still coming. This, this is just the beginning. Uh, this is just when we are going to reach now. And the main things we are going to see the sufferings that Jesus saw. So today, you and me, if you are not stopping what you are doing, truly, I don't know where you are going to be. The table has been given an opportunity to use this world 
Oh, the light they are talking about that let's search for Almighty God while we can still hear his message being preached. When Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ resurrected, so the a veil, a veil, curtain or a veil. Yeah, the curtain was teared in the middle. And today, as Christians, we have been also been uh, with their normal allowing or their normal giving us the power, the power that was given to Jesus Christ because because everything is going to conclusion or it's going to the end. But Jesus Christ carried all our sins. Everything. Jesus carried it on the cross. But my brother, my sister, we just reminding one another, you and me, we must know that the world is no more the same. After Corona, you're going to hear another sickness again is going to come. Because the devil is holding the world in his hands. So even though he said that I am going to be with you until the end of the world, I'm never going to let you down. I'm never going to give up on you as long as you are standing in my name and me, I will be with you. Even though the table is there, I will give him the word to use it. In the, book, in the book of John, if we read in the book of John, a lot of things have been told to us. That's why Jesus said that for us who are living in the new world, so this world won't just pass like that without seeing the coming of Christ. So the first generation were destroyed with the flood. And the second generation was destroyed by fire. And us also, we don't know what's going to destroy us. It's going to come maybe fire from heaven, it's going to burn anything, everything. Everything will be burned. Everything you are seeing here, it will disappear. And the message of Christ, it will never disappear. May this message able to have a space in your heart. It will able to be a testimony in the last days of your life. Because they say you are going to look for me, you are not going to find me. You are going to search for pastors, but you are not going to get me. You are going to look for prophets, but you are not going to get them. Because the moment has passed. And this time, uh, my brethren, is what we have recaped on. May the Almighty God be with us. Be able to help us. To assist us and be with us in these temptations of trouble. May God be able to help us. Amen.